everybody and welcome to the magazine tree craft video. This is a very fun and easy craft that only requires a magazine and a couple of quick folds to put together. For this craft a thicker magazine does work best. So you see here I have an old National Geographic that's got quite a few pages. When using a thicker magazine I'll only need two to complete the project. If you're using something a bit thinner, like a holiday catalog, you may need a few more in order to create a full tree. But let's not waste any time. We're just going to get started. Opening the magazine to the first page. I'm just going to start right here in the upper right hand corner and bring this page all the way down right into the binding. So it forms a nice triangle. Now that I have my first fold done, starting right here in this upper right corner again, I'm just going to bring the page over one more time all the way to the spine of the magazine and just fold over so it creates a triangular shape. Now if I flip the page over you can see I have this little bit of a tail hanging off the end of my page. You can cut it off, but I do think it's easier to just take that tail and slide it right here in between the folds and then fold it over so it creates a flat line. I'm just going to repeat that step with each page of my magazine. It's just starting in the upper right corner and then pulling it inside to the spine of the magazine and folding over to create that triangle just like so. Now that I have my first fold done, I'm just going to take this upper right corner again and bring it over all the way to the spine of the magazine, creating another triangular fold. And go ahead and crease it down, and I'm just going to take my little tail and slide it in right under that fold. And crease it off. Don't worry about making sure your folds are 100% exact. In nature, trees come in all different shapes and sizes. They're not 100% uniform, and there's no reason that yours has to be either. So you can see, now that we've got a couple of pages done, you can already see just a little bit of that tree outline with the very tip of the tree coming down to the base and sort of an evergreen shape. I'm just going to keep going all the way through. Just starting always at that upper right corner, folding into the spine so it creates a nice triangle. And then just bring it over a second time all the way to the spine. And go ahead and just tuck in that little tail. Now this magazine is a few hundred pages and I'm not going to make you watch me fold every one. So we're just going to do one more page with that simple three step fold. Oops, just coming down for one triangle, bringing it back over for a second. And then tucking in the little tail. To the magic of editing, I'm just going to whisk this one away and show you what it would look like once I finish folding every page. As you can see, once you folded your last page, it does create a full look like an evergreen tree. And then your outside, where the covers are, does remain a bit flat. Now depending on how you want to use your tree, you can stop here. If you want this to be more in the background, then you can put the flat edge up against another surface and just have it standing looking like this. If you do want to create a more full three-dimensional tree that can be viewed from all angles, then just grab your second National Geographic and go ahead and repeat those folds on all of those pages as well. After folding both National Geographics, I'm left with two halves of the tree. 
So you can see they fit together beautifully, so it forms one full evergreen style tree. In order to secure them together, I'm just going to use some tacky glue. You can also choose hot glue, school glue, whichever adhesive you prefer. I'm just going to use a liberal amount all along the cover here. So it forms a nice tight seal. And now that I have the glue on, I'm just going to stand it up again and just nudge these two together. Just going to grip it here at the top and hold it together so that the glue really adheres. And now that it's glued together, I'm going to let it sit and dry for just a few minutes in order to let the glue really set and hold it together. Now that the tree is completed, it's up to you if you choose to decorate it or if you prefer to leave it like this with all the different colors from the pages showing through. You can paint these trees, though I recommend using a spray paint as it coats nicely and it goes on much faster than using a paintbrush would. You can personalize your tree with ornaments, garlands, flowers, anything you like to really personalize it and make it your own. I built one of these trees a few days ago and took it home to raid my own stash of silk flowers. You can see I added a little snowman ornament on top and then put some poinsettias around the tree to create a beautiful little centerpiece. The Fox Lake District Library will have magazine tree craft kits available for in-person pickup December 6th through the 11th as supplies last at the Adult Services Desk on the second floor. Each kit will contain written instructions on how to construct the tree and two National Geographic magazines. It's up to you what, if any, additional decorations you wish to add to your tree, so definitely have some fun with this and come up with a really unique piece of art. Don't forget to share photos of your creations with us on social media. I can't wait to see what everyone's come up with. Don't forget to stay tuned to the library's website and social media for the most up-to-date information on our upcoming programs and events. We've got a lot of great things planned for you, and I can't wait to see everyone at the next program. Bye!